Have you ever looked at a Japanese spider crab and thought that's not from this planet? Well, you wouldn't be alone in that, and today we're diving deep into the world of this oceanic oddball. The Japanese spider crab with its spindly sprawling legs and a leg span that can stretch to an astonishing 12 feet, certainly doesn't look like your average crustacean. Its legs, reaching out like the arms of a sci-fi space station, give it an almost otherworldly appearance. And let's not forget about its longevity. These creatures can live up to a century, outliving many of us humans, and adding another layer to their alien-like mystique. Now, these crabs don't just hang out in your average tide pool. No, they reside deep in the ocean surrounding Japan at depths reaching as far as 2,000 feet below the surface. That's deeper than the height of the Empire State Building. It's a vastly different world down there, cold, dark and unfathomable to us surface dwellers. A world that might as well be alien. Moreover, these crabs are not just surviving in these extreme conditions, they're thriving. They're masters of their environment, navigating the dark abyss with ease and with those long spider-like legs, who's to say they wouldn't be just as comfortable navigating the craters of the moon? And here's another fun fact. Did you know that the Japanese spider crab can regenerate lost limbs? That's right, just like a comic book superhero or, you guessed it, an alien life form, these crabs can regrow their legs if they lose them. Now, if that's not out of this world, I don't know what is. So, with their enormous size, long lifespan, unique habitat, and the ability to regenerate, it's no wonder that the Japanese spider crab has drawn comparisons to extraterrestrial beings. With these strange features and elusive habitat, it's not hard to see why some might believe the Japanese spider crab is an extraterrestrial visitor. So what exactly is this theory that the Japanese spider crab is an alien? Well, it all begins with the creature's extraordinary characteristics, unlike anything we typically see in our earthly marine life. The Japanese spider crab, a creature so alien in appearance with its long spindly legs and a hard exoskeleton, it's no wonder some theorize it's not from this planet at all. But it's not just the crab's looks that have people speculating, it's the spider crab's unique abilities that truly ignite the imagination. Take for instance its remarkable ability to regenerate lost limbs. Lose a leg? No problem. The spider crab can simply grow another one. This remarkable regenerative ability is something we associate more with science fiction than with the creatures of our own oceans. It's almost as if the spider crab possesses a form of biological technology far beyond our own. Then, there's the crab's deep sea environment. These crabs dwell in the depths of the ocean, where the pressure is immense and the light is scarce. It's a harsh, inhospitable world that could be comparable to conditions on other planets. Could it be that the spider crab's home on Earth is simply a close approximation of its original extraterrestrial environment? Of course, these are just theories. There's no concrete evidence to suggest that the Japanese spider crab is anything but a fascinating creature of our own world's oceans. But the speculation, the wonder, the sheer possibility, it stirs the imagination, doesn't it? It challenges us to look at our world and the creatures in it in a new light. So, is the Japanese spider crab an alien? We may never know for sure. But one thing is certain, it's a creature that continues to amaze and mystify us, pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible in the animal kingdom. While this theory might seem out there, it's certainly thought-provoking, isn't it? What evidence might support this alien crab theory, you ask? Well, let's dive into the deep end and explore some of the peculiar features of our eight-legged friend that have led some to believe it's not of this world. Firstly, let's talk about the Japanese spider crab's unusual physiology. This creature is no ordinary crab. With a leg span reaching up to 12 feet, it's the largest crustacean on the planet. Imagine a crab the size of a small car scuttling around on the ocean floor. That's not something you see every day, is it? Its body structure is also unique, with a rounded torso and long spindly legs, looking more like something from a sci-fi movie than a creature from our oceans. Next, let's descend into the crab's deep-sea habitat. The Japanese spider crab dwells in depths of up to 2,000 feet, where light barely penetrates and temperatures are chillingly cold. It's a harsh alien environment even to most sea creatures, let alone us land dwellers, yet these crabs thrive there, seemingly unfazed by the extreme conditions. It's as if they're perfectly adapted to an environment that's as close to outer space as you can get on Earth. Furthermore, the remarkable adaptations of the Japanese spider crab add to the alien intrigue. They have an uncanny ability to camouflage themselves with sponges and other sea life, 
effectively disappearing into their surroundings. This advanced form of mimicry is not commonly seen among other crustaceans, making it a unique characteristic of our alien crab. Lastly, the fact that there's a lack of similar creatures in our oceans adds to the mystery. Where are all the other giant, deep-sea-dwelling camouflaging crabs? The Japanese spider crab stands alone in its category, an anomaly amidst the multitude of marine life. The evidence might be circumstantial, but it does make you wonder. Could the Japanese spider crab be an extraterrestrial immigrant living in our oceans? Perhaps the truth is out there deeper than we've ever ventured. Of course not everyone is on board with this theory. There's a whole corner of the room where skeptics are raising eyebrows and shaking heads. They're not buying into this whole Japanese spider crab as an alien hypothesis. These skeptics, many of whom are scientists and marine biologists, argue that the unique features of the Japanese spider crab which some consider alien-like, are simply the result of evolution and adaptation to its specific environment. They believe that the spider crab's long legs which can span up to 12 feet, are an evolutionary adaptation that helps the creature navigate the deep sea floor. Consider the crab's ability to camouflage itself by adorning its shell with sponges and other sea creatures. Isn't that a clear example of a survival adaptation rather than extraterrestrial influence? The skeptics would certainly assert so. And then there's the crab's extraordinary lifespan. Some Japanese spider crabs live to be a hundred years old, but rather than attributing this longevity to alien genetics, skeptics point to the crab's slow growth rate and the cold, deep-sea environment it inhabits. Both factors, they argue, contribute to the crab's long life. Another point of contention is the crab's unique reproductive method, which sees the female carrying hundreds of thousands of eggs under her abdomen. This, skeptics say, is not so much a sign of an alien origin but rather a common feature among many marine species. Finally, let's not forget the crab's ability to regenerate lost limbs. Now, while that might seem straight out of a science fiction movie, skeptics remind us that many terrestrial and aquatic species are capable of similar feats. In essence, the skeptics' argument boils down to this. The Japanese spider crab's peculiarities can all be explained through the lens of evolution and adaptation to a deep-sea environment. They don't see a need to look to the stars for answers when the seas are still full of mysteries. So, while it's fun to think about, most experts agree that the Japanese spider crab is probably not an alien. But for argument's sake, let's entertain the idea. What if the Japanese spider crab really is an alien? Let's delve into this theoretical rabbit hole for a moment. If this were true, it would completely shake up our understanding of life, not only on our planet but also on other planets. It would mean that life from outer space has managed to adapt and thrive in our earthly oceans. Imagine the implications. It would suggest that life on other planets might not be as far-fetched as we once thought. If a creature as bizarre and extraordinary as the Japanese spider crab can survive and thrive here, then who's to say what other alien life forms might be out there, in the vast universe, surviving in conditions we can't even begin to comprehend. And what about the potential for other alien species on Earth? If one alien species managed to make Earth its home, there could be others. Maybe they're hiding in plain sight, just like our friend, the Japanese spider crab. It's a tantalizing thought, isn't it? We could be sharing our planet with extraterrestrial life and not even know it. But let's not get carried away. The idea that the Japanese spider crab is an alien is after all just a theory. A fun and exciting theory but a theory nonetheless. It's important to remember science is about evidence and facts. And until there is evidence to support this theory, it remains just that. A theory. But isn't it fun to consider the possibilities? To let our imaginations run wild with the what-ifs? While the Japanese spider crab probably isn't an alien, its unique features and mysterious life certainly make it one of Earth's most fascinating creatures. So let's continue to explore and learn because who knows what other fascinating creatures and theories we'll encounter along the way. After all, isn't that the beauty of discovery?